Hello everyone, it is Shaylee. Thank you all for joining me today for this live yoga session. Um, today is going to be a uplifting and empowering yoga flow. So let's begin. So we're actually going to start on our mat today in a standing position and go ahead and just shake it out. So again, shaking your body out, shaking out your hands, shaking out your feet, whatever movement feels good, you can move around. But when you're done, bring your movement to a stop. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up above your head. Exhale. Hands are gonna come to heart center. You can close your eyes here and just go ahead and drop into the present moment. Ground down through all four corners of your feet. Soften through your knees, lift your heart Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And breathe. Set up a nice connection with your breath before we start to move some more. You can open your arms, hands can come down in order to rise up. Inhale, sweep your arms up above your head. Exhale, forward fold, dive all the way down. Relax the weight of your head and shoulders down onto the mat. Grab onto opposite elbows here with your hands. Draw your elbows down towards the ground. And begin swinging left to right. Breathing the whole entire time. Awesome, release your hands down. Take a deep breath in as you lift up halfway. Slide your hands all the way up to the tops of your legs. Lengthen through your neck. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, press all the way up. Lift your hands above your head. And exhale, fold down. Walk your hands out in front of you. Lower your right knee down, followed by your left. Come to all fours, bringing your wrist directly underneath your shoulder points, your knees underneath your hip points. Spread through all 10 of your fingers. And take a deep breath in, drop your belly down, work up your spine, lift your heart, lift your gaze up to the ceiling. And exhale, round at the tail, bringing your chin to chest. And work through some cat-cow here. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, look all the way up. And exhale, round. And a couple more times, inhale, lift up. And exhale, curl your tail, bring your chin to your chest. Last time, inhale, drop your belly, lift your heart, look up. Exhale, curl your tail, bring your chin in. Awesome, from here, you're going to anchor down through your right leg, send your left toes back behind you, rock forward and back on your toes. Breathing the entire time here. 
when you're ready, inhale, lift your left foot up off of the mat. Exhale. Awesome. Stay here. Bend your knee and begin doing circles clockwise with that knee. So move with your breath the entire time. Make sure you're not collapsing into your shoulders or your wrists here. Find a nice lift and press away from the earth with your hands. And go ahead and reverse your circles. Awesome. And lower your left knee down onto the mat. Get prepared for the other side. Anchor down through your left side and send your right foot back directly behind you. Rock forward and back on your toes. Lengthen through the back of your leg. Breathing the whole time. Inhale, lift your foot up off of the mat. Let it hover. Exhale, stay here. Awesome, bend your knee and circles clockwise this direction. Moving out, bring it back in. Marrying your breath with your movement here. Keep it going. And opposite direction. Awesome. Lower your right knee down to the mat. Bring your big toes together. Spread your knees wide as your mat. Bring your left hand to the center. And on a deep breath in, you're gonna smear some peanut butter up your left arm and across your chest and raise your right hand up towards the sky. Exhale, relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Make sure you have enough space for your neck. And inhale, reach your fingers up higher. Exhale, we're gonna thread the needle through. So you're gonna bring your right arm directly behind your left. Drop your right shoulder down. Drop your right ear down onto the ground. Find a nice twist here. And deep breaths the whole time. While you're here, if you would like, you can lift your left hand up off of the mat, reach up towards the sky, and then wrap that arm around to reach for your right hip crease. Breathe deep. Awesome. Lift your hand back up, place it down on the ground if it isn't already. Take a deep breath in as you press into your hand in order to lift you up. And a deep breath out as you replace your right hand down to the center of your mat. And inhale, other side, twist open to your left, reach your left fingers up towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale. Relax your shoulder down, away from your ears. Lengthen through the crown of your head and soften your ribs down. Inhale, reach your fingers up higher. And exhale, thread the needle through the other side. Bring that left arm behind your right. Drop your left shoulder down. Drop your left ear down. And breathe. Send your breath to your lower back here. Send your breath to your hips. Feel that opening. Awesome. If you would like, you can reach your right arm across to reach for your left hip crease. Find a nice bind here. Stay with your breath. 
and plant your right hand down onto the mat. Deep breath in as you rise up. Deep breath out as you place your left hand down onto the mat. Go ahead and walk your hands out long. Lower your heart, lower your forehead down until it's all the way on the ground. And come to an extended child's pose. In your extended child's pose, go ahead and rock your forehead left to right. Soften through your face. Cleansing breaths here. Great job. You're gonna press into your hands to rise up. Take a deep breath in, lift up. Deep breath out as you walk your hands back in slightly. Bring your knees back in to all fours. Curl your toes under, take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out as you lift your knees and shift your bottom back into a downward facing dog. Awesome. In your downward facing dog, take your dog for a walk. Lift one heel up, then the other. Alternate lifting your legs. You got this, keep breathing. Awesome. Inhale as you look forward. Exhale as you baby step all the way to the top. Bring your feet to your hands, come into your fold. Inhale as you lift up halfway, flat back. Bring your hands to the tops of your thighs. Draw your elbows back. Exhale, fold. Ground down through your feet in order to rise up. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach your hands up above your head. Exhale, hands are gonna come down. Awesome, deep breath in, reach your arms up above your head. And exhale, bend your elbows 90 degrees, spread your fingers wide, cactus your arms. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. And exhale, cactus your arms, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Inhale, reach up once more. Exhale, bend your elbows, slide your shoulder blades down your back. Exhale. Inhale, reach up again. Exhale, hands are gonna come down and they're gonna interlace behind your back. Your feet can be about hip width apart here. Soften through your knees. Try not to lock your knees. Take a deep breath in, anchor down through your feet. Find a nice lift and a deep breath out. As you draw your knuckles down towards the ground, feel your shoulders splay open here. You can tilt your head back if you would like. Open up through your throat. Open up through your front body and breathe. Take a deep breath in, draw your knuckles down further. And take a deep breath out as you dive down into your fold. Lift your knuckles up and away from your back. Reach them up towards the ceiling. Make sure your neck has enough space here. Try not to hold your breath. You can find movement if, in your neck if it feels good to you. I personally love to move my head in this one. Inhale, exhale, release your bind. Hands are gonna come down to the mat. Walk your hands out in front of you. Step your right foot back, followed by your left. Come into a downward facing dog. Anchor down through your left foot. Inhale, slide your right foot up. Your toes are pointed down, stay here. Exhale, bend your knee, 
If you would like, you can stay in a three-legged dog if that's enough for you. If you want to open up more through your hips, go ahead and reach your right foot towards your left glute. Stack your hips here. Inhale, extend your leg out if you haven't already. Exhale, bend your knee, plant your right foot down in between your hands and lower your left knee down onto the ground. When you get here, take your time finding your base. So if you need to adjust, go ahead and do that. Make sure your front knee is over your front ankle, a nice 90 degree bend. Squeeze your legs in towards your midline, connect to your center. And we're gonna rise up in this crescent lunge with control. Inhale as you lift your belly up off of the top of your thigh, pull your thumbs back. Exhale as you drop your shoulders down, plant into the pose. Stay here. Inhale, reach your fingers up higher. Exhale, lower your hands down to the mat. Place your left hand down to the inside of your right foot. And inhale, lift your right hand up towards the ceiling for your easy twist. And if you want a little bit more here, you can lift your left knee up off of the ground in your twist whatever you're comfortable with right now. Inhale, reach your hand up higher. Exhale, lower your right hand down. And straighten your right leg, shift your hips back, lift your right toes up off of the mat until your toes are flexing towards your face. Make sure you still have a slight bend in your right knee. Come into your half split or your reverse lunge. You can bring your chin towards your chest and breathe. Awesome. Great job. Rock forward back onto your toes. Plant your right foot down. You're going to lift your left knee up off of the mat. Send your right foot back to meet your left. Come into your plank. You got this, we're not staying here long. Inhale, shift forward on your toes. Exhale, lower all the way down to your stomach. When you get here, place your hands to the tops of your ribs or just underneath your armpits. Draw your elbows back so they're reaching towards each other. You're gonna press into your pubic bone, press into the tops of your feet and into your hands. And inhale, lift up for a high cobra. Exhale, lower. Great job, curl your toes under. Inhale, Come up to your knees and exhale, lift your knees, walk your feet in, come into a downward facing dog. Great job here. Keep your breath. Pedal it out through your feet. Make sure your fingers are spread wide and that you are pressing extra into your middle finger and your thumb that fleshy part of your hand, that's like a web. Press into that to help your balance and prepare for the other side. Anchor down through your right foot. Inhale, slide your left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, stay here or bend your knee and reach your left foot towards your right glute in order to open up through your hips. You can stay in your three-legged dog here also. Inhale, send your left leg out. Exhale, bring your left foot, plant it in between your hands and lower your right knee down. 
set yourself up for success here by finding your base before you just fly into your lunge. So set your foundation, make sure you are grounded in your front foot. Your toes can be curled under if you would like, if you would like your foot flat, you can, it's Yogi's choice. Squeeze your legs together in towards your midline and with control, inhale, lift up for your crescent lunge, pull your elbows back, exhale, stay here. Keep on breathing here, you're doing awesome. Inhale, reach your fingers up higher. Exhale, lower your hands down to the mat. Place your right hand to the inside. And inhale, sweep your left hand up towards the ceiling for your easy twist. If you want a little bit more, go ahead and lift your back leg. Great job. Inhale, reach your fingers higher. Exhale, lower your fingers down and straighten through your left leg until your left toes lift up off the mat and flex towards your face. Come into your reverse lunge. Breathe here. Feel that opening in your hips and in your back in the back of your left leg. Awesome. Rock your left toes down, plant them on the ground. You can curl your right toes under, lift your right knee up off of the mat, and set, send your left foot back to meet your right. Inhale, shift forward on your toes. Exhale, lower your belly all the way down. Come to lie flat on your mat. Place your hands to the top of your ribs or just at your armpits. Press into your pubic bone, press into your hands. Inhale, rise up for your high cobra. Lift your heart, pull your head back. Open your throat. And exhale, lower all the way down. From here, send your arms out long in front of your head. And lower your face down to the mat. And I want you to imagine somebody pulling your hands and pulling your feet, stretching you opposite directions. So really, really reach forward, reach back, feel that lengthening through your entire body. Keep reaching, keep stretching. And then from here, you're going to inhale, lift your hands, lift your feet, come into your Superman. Exhale, lower. Slide your hands back in towards you. Curl your toes under. Come all the way up, back to all fours. Inhale, curl your toes under, lift your knees. Exhale, come to your downward facing dog. Pedal it out through your feet. Awesome. Inhale as you look forward. Exhale, walk your hands back in towards your feet. Come into your fold. Inhale as you lift up halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press into your feet, rise all the way up to a standing. Exhale, hands are going to come through to heart center. Catch your breath here if you need to. And you can go ahead and walk towards the center of your mat or the center of your space that you're practicing in. 
when you are here. Go ahead and step your feet out into a wide stance. You're going to turn your left heel in towards you so that your left toes are out. You're going to turn your back right foot in slightly, about 45 degree angle, so that your hip points are shining diagonally to the right side. Now, open your arms out long, and you're in a warrior two. Your head is over your heart, heart over pelvis. Look past your left middle finger. Hold strong in your warrior. Awesome. Inhale, straighten your left leg, lift your arms up. Exhale, bend your front knee, send your arms out. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, send your arms out long. One more time, inhale, straighten your leg and lift. Exhale, arms out wide, come into your warrior. Feel the power here. Really connect with this warrior position. Feel the strength in your legs. This is a really strong pose. You got this. Inhale, straighten and lift one more time. Exhale, bump your hips out to the right. Lower your left hand down towards the ground. If you come to your shin, that's fine. But reach your right hand up towards the sky. Find your triangle pose or trikonasana. Awesome. Inhale, reach your arms up higher. Exhale, lower your right hand down to the ground. You're going to pivot your right foot so both of your feet are pointing the same direction. You're going to step your right foot in a little bit more. And you're going to straighten through your front leg. And you're going to bring your chin in towards your chest. Find a pyramid variation. Awesome. Step your right foot up to meet your left. Come into your fold. And inhale. Rise all the way up to standing. Lift your hands up above your head. And exhale, step out wide, come back to your wide-legged position. We're going to do the other side here. So from your wide-legged stance, you're going to turn your right foot out so that your heel is to the inside. If you draw a line of your left foot, so get there, bring your right knee over your right ankle. Turn your left foot now so that your toes turn in about 45 degrees. Your hip points should be shining diagonally towards the left side. Perfect. Send your arms out long. Find your warrior two. Breathe deep here. Look past your right middle finger. Awesome, inhale, straighten your right leg, lift your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees, send your arms out long. Inhale, straighten and lift your arms up. Exhale, bend your knee, send your arms out, come into your warrior. Stay strong here, connect to your power here. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, bend your knee. 
sink a little bit deeper into that warrior. You're doing great. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, lower your right hand down towards the ground. Find your triangle pose. You can turn your head to look up at your hand or to look down. If you don't come all the way down to the ground, don't even worry. You can be up here. Perfect, lower your left hand down to the ground. Pivot to your left foot, step your left foot in a little bit, and you can straighten through that right leg. Shift your hips back, feel the lengthening in the back of your legs here in this triangle, I'm sorry, this pyramid variation. Awesome. Step your left foot up to meet your right. Come into your fold. Great job. From here, interlace your fingers behind your head. Elbows are reaching out left to right. Bringing your chin in towards your chest. Feel that opening in the back of your neck and press into your feet, rise up to a standing. Take your time. Work up with a deep breath in and a deep breath out. When you get to the top, when you get to the top here, release your hands from your neck and place your hands onto your shoulders. Lift your elbows up, don't let them droop down, and begin twisting left to right here. Work from your core in this twist, and breathe, as always, breathe. Keep twisting. You can close your eyes if you want. But really get into it here. Breathe. Keep your twist. And when you've had enough, bring it to a slow and mindful Heel toe your feet so that you're at a wide legged stance. You're going to bend your knees, bring your hands down to your knees, lower your bottom down into space, and drop your right shoulder down towards the center. Pull your left shoulder back, look back behind you. And inhale as you come through center. Exhale, left shoulder down, pull your right shoulder back. Inhale through center. Exhale, right shoulder, look back. Inhale through center, and last time, exhale, left shoulder down, right shoulder back. Great job, come back to center. Come up off of your knees. I still want you to have a wide-legged stance. Keep your knees bent. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Lift your heart. And from here, lift your right heel up off of the mat and hold. And lower. Lift your left heel up off of the mat. You got it. And lower. 
and both heels up off of the mat. Go ahead and try it. You can do it. Hold here and lower your heels down onto the mat. Bend your knees. Inhale, lift your hands up. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. You can walk your legs out wider if you would like. Breathe here the whole time. And walk your hands over to your left foot. Open up through your right side body here. Keep your breath. And make your way through center, walking your hands over to the right side. And walk your hands back towards the center. Bring your hands on your hips. And Take your time as you press into your feet and rise all the way up to a standing, starting with the crown of your head. Inhale and exhale when you get to the top. Heel toe your feet in. And cross your right foot over your left. Inhale, sweep your arms up above your head. And exhale, bring your right hand forward, your left hand back, open up here. Nice. And inhale as you reach through center. Exhale, open up towards your right side. Bring your left hand forward, your right hand back. And inhale, lift through the center. Exhale, fold. Find a nice fold here. and rise all the way up. Inhale, reach your arms above your head. Exhale, uncross your legs. Do the other side. Bring your left foot over your right foot. Inhale, reach your arms up above your head. And exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Find your twist. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed away from your ears. Find a nice lift from the bottom of your feet all the way up towards your heart. And inhale, reach through center. Exhale, open up towards your right side. And inhale, reach through center. Exhale, fold all the way down. And take your time rising all the way up to a standing. Uncross your feet and give your legs a shake out if you would like and your shoulders a shake out. Awesome, inhale, open your arms out wide. Exhale, bring your right arm on top of your left and grab onto your shoulders. Give yourself a hug. Stay with your breath here. 
and inhale as you open your arms out wide. Exhale, bring your left arm on top, right arm underneath. Exhale, plant yourself here. Give yourself some love. Awesome. And open your arms out wide again. Exhale, hands are gonna come down. Palms are open, fingers are reaching down towards the ground. I invite you to close your eyes here. And come into your empowering mountain pose. Find your lift through the crown of your head. Shine your heart up. Palms are super open, ready to receive. Your knees are softened. Awesome, open your eyes and take your time lowering yourself down to the mat. This should probably feel good at this point, coming down to the mat. Bring your feet together, bring your legs together, really, really together. And then slide your hands so that your hands are at your sides. They're almost underneath your bottom. And then zip your arms in towards your inner side body here. And press into your heels, press into your sits bones or your bottom also ground down through your hands and find a nice lift here. Lengthen through your spine, long spine, long neck. Stay active in your toes, keep your toes flexed towards your face. Great job, release your elbows from your side body slide your right knee in towards you and with your knee in you can either hug your knee in with your left arm or you can bring your left elbow to hook on the outside of your right knee make a 90 degree angle with your arm keep your fingers spread wide keep your toes flexed towards your face your right hand is planted directly behind you. Inhale as you find a nice lift in your chest. And exhale as you come into your twist. And extend your right leg out in front of you. Bring your left knee in towards you. You can hug it in, or you can lift your left hand back, plant it behind you. Bring your right arm to hook on the outside of your left leg. Keep your toes active and pointed towards your face. Inhale as you find lift. Exhale as you twist. back to center. Bring your feet in towards you. The soles of your feet are going to come together, come into your butterfly position. You can cradle your feet here with your hands or just grab onto them or grab onto your ankles, whatever you would like. <sighs> Lengthen through your spine, anchor down through your bottom, lift your chest, and find some circles here with your neck. And 
and opposite direction with your next circles. Great job, bring your neck circles to a stop. Bring your hands to the outside of your legs. Gently bring your legs in together. And from here, you're going to bring your hands to the tops of your knees and lift your feet up off of the ground. You can bring your hands to the backs of your thighs to help support you. And the purpose here is to have your shins parallel with the ceiling. So you can keep your toes pointed if that helps, it helps me. And you can stay here and feel how it feels to balance on your bottom here. Or you can release your hands, use more of your core, and bring your hands out to your sides. Stay strong here in your boat pose. Awesome. Cross your ankles, lower your feet down to the ground. Perfect. From here, send your arms out long in front of you. Find some nice twists with your wrists. Move your fingers. Keep going. Move opposite directions with your wrists. And then keep your hands straightened out long in front of you. Bring your hands together and hook your fingers like this. And lift your knuckles behind your head and draw your right elbow down towards the ground as you lift your left elbow up towards the ceiling. Lean your head back into your arm. And other side, inhale as you reach through center. Exhale, drop your left elbow down. Right elbow is reaching up. Breathe deep here. And inhale as you reach through center. Exhale, come to a T. and lower your hands down. We are going to come down to the ground, lower down to our back, and go ahead and windshield wiper your legs left to right. Hands can be at your sides, hands can be up above your head, whichever feels good for you. Drop your knees left to right. And then when you come to center, lift your feet up off of the mat, straighten through your legs. And grab hold of your legs to support them. You can stretch out through your ankles and your toes. And from here, you're going to keep your left leg long. You're going to place your right foot across your left knee. Bend your left leg. Um, imagine that you are kicking your leg into imaginary wall in front of you, that you have your leg pressed up into a wall here. Grab onto your left leg. Place your right elbow to the inside of your right leg to help the stretch. And find your pretzel here. You can lift your head up if that feels good. Don't crunch your back. Keep your neck long. And 
straighten your left leg, straighten your right leg. Switch, bring your left foot across on top of your right leg. Bend your right leg. Plant your right foot at that imaginary wall in front of you. Bring your arms so that you are hugging your right leg in towards you. Press into your left leg with your left elbow. Find your pretzel. And release your pretzel. Hug your knees in towards your chest. You can rock side to side if that feels good to you. Perfect. Keep your right knee hugged in towards your chest. Send your left leg out long in front of you and guide your right knee across over to your left side and send your right arm out long. Turn your head to look over at your right hand. Keep breathing. And bring it back to center. Hug your left knee in. Send your right leg out long. Send your left arm out and guide your left leg over to the right side. Turn your head to look over at your left hand. Good, come back to center. You're going to bring both of your feet in, walk your feet in towards your bottom. Place your hands down onto the mat. Reach your fingers towards the backs of your heels. Tuck your pelvis in so your lower back is flush with the mat. Tuck your shoulders. Make sure you have enough space for your neck. Place imaginary brick in between both of your legs. Make sure your legs are holding strong onto that brick. And then inhale, press into your feet, press into the back of your head and your hands. Raise your hips up towards the sky, lift your bottom up. Now your chin is gonna be reaching up for the ceiling. Your chest is drawing towards your chin. Exhale, lower your bottom down. And we're going to lift up two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Send your legs out in front of you and bring your hands to your face to your jaw and massage through your jaw and you can grab on to your earlobes now Open through your face, pull your earlobes away from you. You can do some circles with your earlobes. And slide your fingers up towards your temples and massage your temples. and release your hands from your side. Bring your knees in towards your chest and bring your hands to reach for the outsides of your feet. If you grab onto your ankles, great. 
grab onto your feet. Lift your heels so that they're reaching up for the ceiling. Pull your knees in towards your armpits and find your happy baby pose. This is a favorite, I think, for everyone. <laughs> so get into it. And you can rock side to side. You can extend one leg out and then the other. Just do whatever your body is wanting at this time. And bring your happy baby to a stop. You can send your legs out and your hands down at your sides. And allow your body to melt into the mat. Allow your body to melt into the ground. Relax everything. Soften through your face. Relax your jaw. And just be here. Notice how you're feeling. Allow the nutrients of this practice to soak in. Allow yourself to be here in Shavasana. If you begin to drift off, starting to think about what's happening after or whatever, just bring yourself back to this moment. Close your eyes. Notice your breath. Stay here a little bit longer. When you're ready, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Bring awareness to your body, bring subtle movement. You can open your eyes. And when you're ready, we are going to rise up and meet each other in a seated position of choice come cross-legged. When you get here, take a nice inhale in through your nose and exhale. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Lift your thumbs up towards your forehead, your pineal gland, your third eye. Inhale and exhale as you bow. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Hopefully you feel more uplifted, more connected to yourself. And um, yes, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate having you.